through step one, you're going to sign into your iAqualink. If you're on your cell phone, you want to click the web function, which will bring you to this screen that we see here. From here, you're going to click the menu button and then system setup. In the top left corner, you'll see variable speed setup. And this is where we're going to change our speeds to make our pump run more efficiently. Next, you're going to click Speed Setup. We're going to focus on your main filter pump and we're going to set the speeds here. Click Next and you will see all your speed settings. You can set up up to eight speeds, but to make it run efficiently, you really only need two speeds. Here, you'll see Speed Label and we're going to click on that. Then we're going to click on Custom Label. Since this already says Pool, we're going to add a space and then the word High. This will be our High RPM setting. After typing in the label, click Save. Then we're going to set the speed. This speed setting happens to be 3250, which is a good RPM for it to run at high speed. So we'll leave it as this. Next, we're going to set our low speed. So we're going to click on speed number two. And again, we're going to create a custom label. Use the back arrows to delete, then type in pool low and click save. Now we're going to click on speed setting and we're going to put that down to 2150. Running at that speed is about the equivalent of a 60 watt light bulb. So you're going to save a lot of energy using that setting. Now we've set our speed so we can move on to scheduling. Go to menu and then go to schedule. My recommendation would be to delete any previous schedules so the computer doesn't get confused. To do that, simply click Delete and then click Save. Now click Add to add programs. We're not going to select Filter Pump or Spa. We're going to go down to VSP1 Speed Adjustment, which is Variable Speed Pump 1. We're going to click on that and click select, and we're going to set our low speed first. After clicking on pool low, click select. This will bring up the start and stop time options, where we can plug in our desired time. For our start time, we want to start at 5 a.m. So type that in and click enter. Then for stop time, we're going to run it on low speed until about 10.59 a.m. So type that in and again, click enter. Then we're going to set our high speed, but first we need to click save. Again, go to variable speed pump one speed adjustment. Now we're going to do our high speed. Low speed stopped at 10.59 a.m. So we're going to change our start time from the high speed to 11 a.m. You want to run it on high speed for a good four to five hours. So we're going to set the stop time at 3 p.m. Next, we're going to add another one to put it back down to low speed. Again, select pool low 
and we're going to adjust our start and stop times accordingly. So the pool high stops at 3 p.m. and our start time is going to be 3.01 p.m. And we're going to run it until 10 o'clock at night. So the stop time is going to be 10 p.m. Based on what we set up, your pump is going to turn on at 5 a.m. and run on low speed to approximately 11 a.m. Then it's going to run for four hours at high speed and then back down to low speed. Even though your pump is running 18 hours a day, compared to eight to 12, you're going to save a lot more on electricity and the pool is going to be circulating and filtering for much longer. Finally, click Save.